What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Sometimes I just think to myself, we as women have been seriously lied to by society. Being strong and capable. Strong, independent woman. I wasted 10 years on feminism and woke culture. And When did you realize that it was a lie? Probably like a year ago. Whoever fought for women to get jobs. <laughs> Why? This is what y'all wanted. Feminism. Y'all wanted equality. Y'all wanted equality. Now I see these Gen Z kids swinging on girls because now their hands are rated E for everyone. Right? Equality. Equal rights, equal lefts. Are we going to split the bill? Because that's what I expect. If I don't split the bill, I better get some poom poom at the end of this date. You know what I'm saying? You expect us to pay for everything. I expect you to give up the cookie. Let's get back into it. Why did we do that? Women are starting to realize they have been lied to by feminism. Independent uh, financially and uh, all those things. And I kind of pursued my career for a really long time. I pursued my academics for a really long time. But um, I think as you get older, you realize how unfulfilling all of those things are. And Thanks. when you've sold that dream for a really long time, you're so convinced that that can't wait. Well, and these women, they become the men that they've always wanted. They go out and they get a good job. They get a good career. They work their way up the corporate ladder just to find that when they're 45 or 50 years old, that it's meaningless to them and that they wish they had a family. And the thing is, the, the clock has been ticking. You're in overtime. You're in double. You're in double OT. It's, it's pretty much over for you. If you're in your 40s and your 50s, you're not having a child, dude. It's, it's a wrap for you. And these women are now realizing that feminism straight up lied to them. It's brutal, but it's a harsh reality. Oh, look, the consequences of my own actions. And you're so convinced that marriage, kids, and becoming all of those things that are more traditional can wait, mm -hmm. when really, biologically, it's the other way around. So for me, I would say there's been a mis- And that being a strong, independent woman isn't all that it's cracked up to be. No. Let me tell you something. You women from the 60s really messed up my life goals. You know I mean, I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's giving Princess and the Frog, and she's not the princess. <laughs> just saying stay at home and clean the house take care putting of the clown make up this is the, you can't make this stuff up it's like the starter kit like you need to be beat you need to be in your house alone you need to be putting on makeup and you need to be complaining about you being single it's like that's the starter kit for the modern woman the kids you know have dinner ready for your husbands when they got home from work that is all i want to do but no, you thought everyone wanted to be independent. I don't. I don't want to be independent. Now they Stop want riding the meat carousel. Go out there and get you a man. Stop listening to your single friends. This is something that Kevin Samuel says. Single women keep women single. Stop hanging out with all your chicken-headed friends that are all single and complaining about men ain't shit. No, maybe your girlfriends ain't shit. And that's why they're single you to save them from the lifestyle they chose to live yeah i pray for a soft life a life where keep praying keep praying that little short haircut looking like i had a chili bowl in third grade ain't no man looking at you being like "Ooh, where are the chili bowl women at the financial weight and the financial burden does it fall on me when i was younger i was like i'm gonna be an independent woman i would never marry for money i'm gonna pay for everything i own and now i'm like if a that. man walked up to me and was like you don't have to work for the rest of your life we just have to fuck pretty good deal i want you to pay. have a good luck <laughs> you got tons of mileage on you right you're looking like a nascar rally race underneath your belly button there close attention to what these women say so you don't fall victim to their manipulative tricks. They will be leaving them. I do not want the title of a strong, independent black woman, okay? I am a single divorced mom. I have been divorced. Y'all know what's coming. expect us men to come in and sweep you off your feet when you've already let another guy beat that meat down you know what i'm saying you've already pooped out another kid your womb has been used the highest honor you could give a man is on is on the goodwill sale rack 
but you expect us to come in and sweep you off your feet? No, because a lot of these women don't even want more kids and a man that has the resources who's high value enough to get a woman, right, and pay for her lifestyle usually wants kids. He wants a legacy. Force now for. We do not care. I pray for a soft life, a Keep life playing. where the financial weight and the financial burden doesn't fall on me. I want to be able to live a life of leisure. Mm. A soft life, a slow life. Like I am so tired. I look forward to the day where I marry someone that kind of relieves me. She's of laughing because even she knows it sounds absolutely ridiculous. There's no way a man's going to come in and want to raise another man's kid. It's a bad deal. It's a really bad deal. Like I've said in previous episodes, getting a single mom and raising a kid that's not yours is like playing blackjack and hitting on 20. I'm not hitting on 20. I'm staying. Of the stress of like day-to-day -day life. And to be honest, we don't care. Were you paying attention to what she said? This is just one of the many examples I will show of women trying to trick you into saving them. They don't want a partner. They no, want they just want to be saved. That's exactly what they want. They just want somebody to come in and save them. Next clip. Oh my God, I'm officially divorced. Yes. This video is so good. I'm officially primary custodian of the kids. Are you kidding me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? Now you're a single mom. <laughs> yes, it is. That's what you wanted. You were so happy the divorce was over. And then when you found out you weren't getting a bag, then you got mad and sad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not getting as much money as I thought I was going to get. <laughs> Why'd you divorce your husband then? Why did you divorce him? <laughs> this is not fair. Life isn't fair, baby girl. When a man shows you who he is, you have to believe him. When anybody shows you who they are, you have to believe them. Um, we're believing that you are showing us who you really are. Uh, money hungry hippo. <laughs> he doesn't have to pay nothing of it. Nothing. That's the that comes with being a woman that is so right or die about love. This is so rather die about love, but then when you got a divorce, you were celebrating it? What? As you can see, she divorced her husband with the goal of getting child support. Facts. But when she doesn't get what she was looking for, she starts crying about how unfair it is. I just wanted to come on here to tell you guys that what one man won't do for you. It's the cumbrellas, man. What one man won't do for you, another man also won't do for you. <laughs> another one will. No, he won't. Nobody talks about how hard it is. I really need to hurry to transition from being on survival mode to somebody actually wanting to take care of you. I can't stop crying. <laughs> um... These women are, it, it seems like these women are looking for chaperones. <laughs> looking for legal guardians and chaperones. People to just come in and just oversee and pay for everything. We're not doing it. Me, and I love my life. But I feel so goddamn lonely. Uh -huh. And it terrifies me. Everyone's getting married or having kids and starting a new chapter in their life with their friends. Start started out with getting a new phone because I don't know what this footage is all about, but this is 360p on the best days. So what not? And I'm just here on my own in my own home, working. That's what you want. Survive it. The other single 32 year old women get depressed. Extreme of course, because all y'all she belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Extremely depressed around the holidays, or is it just me? My, all of my siblings from 16 years old to 40 something years old, all have somebody, okay? They have boyfriends, girlfriends, they're married, they have children, like family. Except for you, you got fake lips. Looks like a fake nose, cumbrellas, face full of makeup. Are we seeing a trend here, fellas? I think so. And then there's Brittany, alone with her French bulldog, that she's codependent on. 
They walk you? in the front door with their family and their kids and they're oh, Merry Christmas, blah, 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 and then I show up by myself. Hey, Britt. I don't have anybody. Nobody's calling me. Nobody's texting me. I'm celibate, so... You better sell a bit of that pussy to somebody who cares. Shots fired! Shots fired! These women trying to be born-again virgins and celibate. You better sell a bit of that shit to somebody that actually wants it. You better stop. You can't be celibate after you've been ran. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's like, that's like driving a 2000 Honda Accord, putting 200,000 miles on it, but it's like actually the car's celibate now. Um, it's actually brand new. <laughs> so we're charging brand new prices for it. It's actually a 2024 Honda Civic. So if that's what you're a Honda Accord, that's what you wanted, right? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a born again. It's a born again new car. It's a born again. Like It's celibate. It's been celibate for two years. Nobody's drove it. Therefore, it's it's brand new. God, stop. So, like, okay, do I never get a turn again? Or, like, what the... F it's my fault. A lot of it's my fault. Maybe I'm too picky. Maybe yes. my standards are too high. Yes. Like, I could. I guess I could. But, like, that. I bring a lot to the table. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, what she brings to the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're 32. I don't need feminism because I love chivalry. <laughs> Stop. Well, I mean, that's good, actually. We like chivalry. I don't need feminism because... Oh, I, can't I don't need a group of people telling me that it's wrong for me to want to actually stay at home and look after my children. I'm not going to lie. Don't tell the feminists. But I would rather stay home and cook and clean. I would rather do it. When I tell you I love to cook and clean, just just don't tell the feminists. I love to do Every it. girl wants this, dude. Every girl wants this. I'll even give you a real life example. Cass and I have been together for a while. We're engaged. Um, I, I dated her for many years, vetted the hell out of her. So a lot of you guys, MG, MGTOW, do your own thing. But I feel like I got a good grasp on reality and what I'm doing here. Either way, Cass begs me. She's like, I want to retire so bad, but she's like, I'm too afraid to. I'm like, retire. Stop working. I make enough money. I make enough money. Just retire. But she's so drawn. She's not a feminist, but she's so drawn to that independent woman ideology that she's afraid to because she's always had to fend for herself. So we've made a plan that in July, she's going to quit her job and she's just going to stay at home all the time because she's like, this is what I want. I want to just sit at home. I want to watch anime. I want to read books. I want to cook. I want to clean. I just want to do that. I'm like, cool, quit your job. But the, but society has, has conditioned her where she's she feels like she should have her own funds and her own money. And I'm like, no, no, no I'll pay for everything. Don't trip. I make I make more than enough to support both of us. Um, so one of these days she'll quit her job and she's going to stay home. But she's begging me. She's like, I, I just want to I want to stay at home. I'm like, do it. Absolutely do it. I'm having to like convince her to want to do it, even though she wants to do it, but she's afraid. Um, but this is that that modern ideology that a lot of women are wrapped up in. Um, but more and more women are on the train of this chick right here. Like, I just want to sit at home and cook and clean. Life is so much easier that way. And I love to do it for a man. I do. Just to see the look on a man's face when you cook him a meal that is so good. You could just tell he's proud. There's just something, I don't know. Bro, that is the sexiest thing a woman can do is cook a, cook a good meal and hand you a big old plate of food. Ooh. Boy, that makes my jeans get a little tight. There's something within me as a woman. Maybe it's almost turning 25. They got me thinking, like, this cooking and cleaning thing isn't bad. Like, I just don't understand why women wanted to work. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was the What was the point? Like, there is nothing satisfying. Fem about feminism is like a pregnant woman on where. Uh, oh God, here, let me, let me try to say it again. Feminism is like a pregnant woman on welfare. It just doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. Not working. A man that takes care of you. A man that provides for you. You don't have to worry about anything. No bills. I will cook and clean all day. Like, what is the complaint? I'm making some fire food tonight. I'm going to serve it. And I'm just enjoying it. Yes, I'm crying over some onions. But is this what we fought for as women? Oh, I don't know. I'd rather cry over some onions than cry about a job. Duh. That's for sure. Good point. Let's watch <laughs> she, some women. She ate that up. I'm going to lie to you. I've had no sleep. Um, and I'm working till 10 tonight. <laughs> Whoever fought. <laughs> I swear these women are children, bro. For women to get jobs. Why? 
She's a she's a troll though. She's a troll. She's funny. Let me do that. I am so tired. I want to just put my feet up. Like I am. Oh my god. So my employer wants me to do my job, and I don't want to do my job. What? How about no? You should get fired, big eyes. <laughs> Eyes are bigger than my drink. Why are you looking through my straight up soul? I feel like she's looking behind me. The hell is she looking at? <laughs> looking like looking like one of the ants from a bug's life. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> so yeah. Some really great points on both sides. Sometimes I just think to myself, we as women have been seriously lied to by society. Like we're told all these things growing up, be successful, be smart, be independent, be all of these things. And then when you become all of those things and you're ready to find a life partner or you're marriage minded, you look around and the dating pool is teeny tiny. Because we as women like to date up. We usually want someone, we're actually wired this way. We want someone who's our- so It's called hypergamy, honey. So economic equal or higher. And the men who are equal or higher have a million gazillion options. And guess what? They're in absolutely no effing rush, no rush at all to settle down because they don't have a biological clock. I just had like the craziest, saddest thought. Um, Stupid. I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies and find love. And I had another talking phase yet again fall through and my friend was like you know you'll meet the one one day don't give up but now I'm at a point where I hope I don't because what happens if I meet him and he wants kids and I'm too old to not be able to give him any facts and you're not gonna be able to give him any kids therefore you're probably gonna not gonna meet that guy <laughs> I'm sorry honey Look, the consequences of my own actions. Reality hits hard. I try, just, I, I, I got a solution for it. Just be celibate. Don't have sex for six months. And become a born again virgin. It's really that simple. So it's easier for me to say I don't want kids. Having like a weird existential crisis. I don't know why I'm posting this on TikTok. You know, she's making me think like, being a 30 year old woman is like being a 50 year old man. That's like their midlife crisis right there, 30. So ladies, if you don't get it together by then, it doesn't get easier. So you better strap up. From the ages of about 18 to 25, you better be looking for a good man. Because by the time you hit 30, that's your midlife crisis. And dudes are like, where are all the younger chicks at? But I think I just, I need to know I'm not alone. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe. Oh, Jafar always gets me with that. Man, oh man. Wow. The channel has been growing like cr absolutely crazy. Like guys, you guys are blowing me away like absolutely blowing me away with how much growth we've had in the last couple of days we've had some record breaking freaking days dude like i think yesterday we had like 299 subs dude the love is absolutely real we are sitting at let's go over here we are sitting at 9582 subs right now i bet we can hit 10k by the end of the week this is absolutely crazy started this channel back in november and was like i'm just gonna post every day and then wow the growth has been so real the community is starting to build uh if you guys want you can join the discord um i've got to put a link somewhere uh, i don't know i'll put a link somewhere i'll put it maybe in the um i'll put it in the description i'll put it in the description from now on so you guys can join the discord we got a couple people in there gonna start building out this community but 10k around the corner i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe i will see you guys tomorrow man peace